you know, uh, what goes through the motions. Does. You know, it, it, it's tough when you already decide in your head before the fight that it's your last fight, you know. It's a lot harder to, to dig down when you decide in your head before the fight is over that it's your last fight, you know. It's a, you know, because when you're fighting for something afterwards, you're always like, oh, I got I to gotta pull this one away. And when you're not fighting for something afterwards, if that, Making if, the if weights that harder. Shit the, if that <laughs> shit hits the fan, you're just like, oh, this is over anyway. You know what I mean? It's really, really a lot more difficult to get motivated, man, for, uh, for and I know a lot of people go, can't relate to the feeling, but I can. And, um. Uh, not so much even in camp, but a lot of times in the fight, you know, and obviously making weight, you're just miserable, you know, you're just like, well, why would I want to do this again, you know? <laughs> Thank God this is the last one. Yeah, but is, exactly. it, is it really the last one, though? I, I think know. for Cotto, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, I never believe in boxers, no offense. Of course. No, no, of course. And there, I think there, it should have been there, the last one a there, few, there, few fights ago. There's always but. enough money in there to... If so, if it can, comes from somewhere to make a guy come back, but for the most part, I mean, a, a guy who's made serious money and a guy who's made who made has made a serious career, like um, like uh, uh Cotto, Cotto. obviously is uh, is in a situation where he can uh, really decide this is definitely his last one. You know, I mean, for Mayweather it was his, Berto was his last one, but at the end, you know, oh, uh, he's not done. It, Oh, for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? That the the the, the, the those are all rumor stuff with Mayweather. Well, Mayweather's last one again, unless it was McGregor. Honestly, the only reason Mayweather will come back is to fight McGregor. If anybody thinks he's gonna fight Golovkin and Canelo <laughs> no. and Thurman, you're all you're you're actually stupider than you realize. You know, but but if Mayweather's training in front of the fight, maybe it's a McGregor rematch. You know, listen. What's so funny is uh, it's Mayweather like slapping around your little sister, bro, <laughs> if, and getting paid hundreds of millions of dollars. Who's not gonna Who's not gonna do that? You know. It says here Mayweather did not look his best against McGregor. However, his father said, told PhillyVoice.com in September that his son hardly trained. <laughs> he did. He did hardly train. I was hearing that when I was in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. He's going out, <laughs> hanging out. No, no, yeah, no, I know he's going out because he's attending to other business. You know, Mayweather's not really a drinker and he wasn't partying, but he's attending to his new strip club. You know, and he's attending. To he's building the hype. He's, yeah, he had a huge platform to but to advertise that, it too. But not even that. He's actually just opened the place up. You know, they're running the numbers every night. You know, I'm saying, you know, how you know, nice is it? How yeah. nice is it when you open it up and you're on all access every the, the, other day? Yeah, but the guy, <laughs> the guy passed by the gym like yeah, like it was a nine to five job. You know, like mm -hmm. like like this club was a nine to five job, and he passed by the gym to get a workout. You know, most people work nine to five, then afterwards. They get an hour in, in the local gym, get a workout, take a shower, and then go home and have dinner. You know, he slept all day, went to the gym, well, went, went to the strip club, but on his way to the strip club, st happened to stop by the gym an hour. Skip rope a little bit. A, <laughs> skip rope, shadow box, maybe hit a bag, and then go to the strip club. You know, that's, that, was, that was the routine. While, 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 while McDickhead is, is posting Instagram videos like he's mountain biking through the Tour de France, <laughs> and he, and like, he's, like, he's sparring, like he's sparring guys, uh, uh, like he's sparring King Kong and all this shit, and he's looking like, he's looking like King Kong. And, and, and then in the end, you have an egg on your face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was it with the bike so, riding, though? I don't know. I, I still don't know what was with that bike riding. I still don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck this guy was doing. <laughs> well, you don't understand. Well, about, he's, a, he's an elite well, athlete, Paul. You what don't about understand. They, but that's the problem I have with anybody that says he was tired. Bro, you saw his Instagram? He was running underwater on that treadmill. <laughs> he was mountain biking through through California. And he's Las like Vegas. Aquaman. He would, he would mountain bike all the way to California and back to Las Vegas. <laughs> it's, you know, like, it's impressive. Where, where, where was... I mean, that's what you would have thought if you would seen his Instagram, you know? You would have thought if you would seen his Instagram. He was beating up everybody. He was mountain biking to Canada and back. He was, you know, he was doing all that. So, so, you know, at the end of the day, what's the excuse to get tired? I mean, you can't just say he got tired. You can't say that. But anyway, we're, we're losing track of the subject. The tra uh, the which Cold is uh, sorry about yeah, that. We got distracted with uh, McBum. Uh, but yeah, it's more uh, Mayweather distracted. Yeah, he's attached. No, no, no the, the the point was Mayweather too. Mm. You know, it, it's hard to say it's your last fight because there's always a fight where you can always come right back. Uh, if there's a lot of money, there's enough money thrown on the table, and obviously, uh, people are gonna pay to see that, that again. Greg, the, fuck yeah, one in three will. One out of one out of the three that bought it will, and that's still a hundred million dollars for him. Oh, uh, true. You know, you marketed enough. One out of th there's enough. Just on the MMA fans alone, there's enough stupid people. Sure. Just, just MMA fans alone buying it <laughs> will make man. man what? Because now he got so much more experience, and you'll still get boxing <laughs> fans to buy it. Like we'll buy it. Right. You know what I'm Do saying? you guys agree? Like, you guys agree? It, well, you guys will like. You'll also like the uh, undercard too. Do you guys? What do you think about this? Uh, Jim Lampley was actually. Why should he retire? He created mar a marvelous scam with the whole thing. Lampley told TMZ in October. He allowed yeah, Connor. That, you also you tell you that where it's coming from. Lampley works for the rival network. So you, yeah. You have to. You have to you, he you said he allowed where, where Connor to from. quote win three rounds so that the whole MMA uh, wish community could have something to latch onto. I think there's a decent chance that enough suckers out there that Floyd could make. Well, Another 150 they, million. Well, Why well, not? They, well, there's one in three. You know that's for sure. Yeah. You know I think you can get. I think you can get one in three, you know, and and that, and that can be something, you know. Oh wow, this is bad. What he said, 
He said jokingly, why not fight a woman next? I think there are all sorts of ways for Floyd to make more money. And I expect him to make more money. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Coming, this, this is the worst. Coming from the king of adultery. <laughs> right. <laughs> is he? I don't think you can fight women. In the, today's PC world, you definitely can't fight women. I mean, unless you let them win. I, I, I don't know. Right. Oh, you guys, oh, we had this <laughs> argument back in the day. You said Floyd going there against a, a woman in MMA and kick her ass. You said there's not a woman that would beat Floyd up in a cage. No. Uh, there isn't. But right. still... I mean, uh, I'd pay to see that. Would you? Yeah. The yeah woman you don't think there'd be enough people that say he assaulted her afterwards? Right. Like, you know, no, you, you, lose, you lose. pay to see it now, but then when you see the highlights of her getting her teeth knocked into the third row, like, well, hopefully she yeah. wore a mouthpiece, a mouth guard. What's that gonna do? Yeah. She's a woman, or her, her jaw winding up on the other side of her head. You know, like <laughs> that's not that's not good. You know what I'm it's a lose lose, bro. Well, the ref's got the, lose. you gotta have a good especially ref who knows when to stop it. Especially in today's PC world, it's a lose lose. You know, and then the last line was still combat. You know. Could Mayweather return for potentially one last fight against Terrence Crawford? Hell no. He's not fighting Terrence Crawford. Come on. Yeah, I mean, listen. No. Sorry, I didn't mean to change the subject on you No, guys. no, you're Sorry. not changing the subject. Yeah, guys. It's, it's funny that these there's guys... I don't know who's stupider. The guy who writes the article like that mm. or the guy who reads the article like that? Oh, so I'm, I, an, I'm an idiot then. That's what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. I, I'm going to go just, now. Just Bye. The, just, the, just, the, just, the headline, just the headline is enough for me to hit, hit X on top of the screen and close it. You know, like, you got to be, a, you gotta be a, the mental midget you have to be to believe that <laughs> is, is out of this world. You I'm know? just trying to make it you guys look be, good. It has, to be a situation where, it has to be a situation where it's feasible for Floyd to both make money and at this point, you know, his legacy is secure. Not, you're not, you don't need to risk your legacy and the the only opponent that's bum enough to do that, but yeah, but bring enough money is uh, is boxing's designated pinata, Conor McGregor. You know, right. he is he is the designated pinata for the whole sport, and obviously uh, Floyd or, and anybody other boxer will obviously love to partake in beating up on a pinata. It's 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 a party it's a party theme. You know, right? Even retired the once. Fight, the fight was a party. Well, Floyd was retired. Though it was a party <laughs> theme. Uh, pin beating up pinatas is things that are things that happen at parties, right? So sure. there's always a party festive atmosphere about that. You know, and mm. and and unlike uh, regular parties that cost money, this one you may he makes money. You know what I'm saying? So so uh, obviously uh, that's the only one for me. If there's a rematch, and there's it's like a quinceañera. Right? Yeah, like I can say, yeah. Except it's a, it's a, a, but a, a, but a, a rich. <laughs> Except it's a cuarenta <laughs> yera for, for Floyd. Or actually, cuarenta y uno. Cuarenta y uno yera, because by February, it'll be 41. Cuarenta y uno yera. Of course, it could be... Uh, the Oscar's pinata has Oscar, gold. Oscar's cuarenta y seis. That's what I was hinting when I said even retired ones. Cuarenta y seis era. Oscar grabó cuarenta y seis era. Oscar would knock his ass out cold, oh. bro. Maybe Oscar doesn't have anything left as far as boxing. You concerned. don't lose but power. Bro, that power, bro. That guy. He, bro, you remember that over car knockout? You remember some of the knockouts Oscar had, bro? What about I, Oscar he, might knock him out to the body. Yeah. I, you know what? Yeah. Oscar would definitely. You know what? If they fight, I got Oscar to the body with a knockout. Oscar was a real badass body puncher, bro. Like, but but he would he would like surprise you with. The, remember the Daryl Coley knockout to the body? Mm -hmm. um, that was at the we, Garden. Yeah, that would. Well, that I don't know. I, I got Oscar knocking him out to the body. What about your boy Oscar De La Hoya said Triple G Canelo is definitely on for Cinco de Mayo. That's great. You know, we hope uh, he keeps his word and uh, and it's uh, gonna be uh, huge. He said he did his best Trump in, yeah, impersonation. No, I, 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 I love that fight. I, I love the fact that they're putting, getting the rematch on. Um, We're going to sell pay-per-views big league. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I mean, Oscar's doing a little double dipping. He's promoting his own potential fight with McGregor. <laughs> Why not? And then he's promoting possibly, you know, possibly what might be the most anticipated fighter of 2018 with uh, Canelo and uh, Golovkin. So, well, you know, let's, let's look at that, right? Let's take a quick dipping. look at that. Is that I'm working. I'm, I'm a promoter. I'm working my ass off. Well, he's supposed to be, but who knows what he's doing. But I got to hustle and go around and talk about all these other fighters. Or I could just take this other fight and just beat some guy up. You know, <laughs> I'll you know hit the bag a few, a couple hours. You know, well, Oscar's forty five. He's probably been out of the gym and, and doing a lot of other bad no, stuff. He said so he's he been secretly to, training. Secret. He said. Secretly training. Well, That's what he said. Well, but this is you know what I mean. So I, I, it'll I'm make, it'll you, make more money bro, doing I don't that. Know, bro, I got Oscar winning that. Bro, I'm telling you, this guy and is so bad. People don't know how bad McGregor is. He's an underdog. He sucks. Like, Oscar's an underdog. Oscar, no Oscar way. Oscar beats yeah. him. Yeah. But by the time the fight comes, he'll be he'll come around. Sure. Come on, man. Like I. Oscar's definitely nowhere near what he was, bro. But just on the fact that he still has the fundamentals and he still hits hard, <laughs> he knocks the shit out of this guy. I'm telling you, this guy's a pussy. <laughs> this guy's such a pussy. He's going to get hit by Oscar and not know what the fuck hit him. He's going to be like, bro, ref, ref, there's bats in this guy's head. He hit, no. he hit me with an elbow. No. You know what I mean? Like, very, very tired. He's going to forget he's boxing. He's going to put him in the guard. <laughs> he's going to oh. get hit so hard, he's going to forget he's boxing. He hit me so hard, I was I was fatigued. That's all it was. I was just fatigued. <laughs> tired. I, I, I won like gonna half look, the he's fight. He's going to shoot in and try to take him down. He's, he's going to get hit so hard, he's going to think he's in the first day Diaz fight. 
shoot in. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, man. Uh, Oscar might be old and, and he might not have a lot, uh, anywhere near what he had. But, bro, there's enough there to, to win that fight. And then the body puncher. And the body puncher is devastating. But the Oscar was such a devastating body puncher, man. You know? That's why these guys are lining up, right? They think walk right through them. Well, it's, it's, it's the, it's Everybody walks right through them. Boxing's him. designated piñata, and he'll be that for a while. As long as he's in the limelight, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll how, be looked at how, as a designated piñata. How many times can he do it? No, of course. What I'm saying is he will always be viewed as that by the oh, boxing yeah. world. You know, So as long as he's lurking in the atmosphere, you'll see fighters uh, who will uh, have that eye on him uh, You know, for... Uh, for the designated piñata, they want to invite him to their party. Everybody wants that piñata at their party, you know. So there's gold in it. Yeah. Speaking of, of him boxing, uh, your your good friend uh, Dana White is starting. He says he's going to start promoting boxing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll see what he brings to the table. You know, uh, what, uh, you know, one thing Dana hasn't had to work with is the Ali Act. You know, and right? So, uh, when they promote, there's promoting and then there's promoting with the Ali Act. You know, in boxing, you have to promote using the Ali Act. So when you can't fuck everybody, you know, we'll, we'll see how. Uh, how how much is his success you're able to achieve? You know, Don King was a super promoter until they invested the until they until they put the Ali Act as a, as a law, and then all of a sudden he died out. You know what I'm saying? So, so Good point. if you can if you can promote with the Ali Act and still make money, knowing now knowing that you can't fuck all your fighters and all the money's not for you. Um, then you're a real promoter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and He's a good carnival barker. He's a good hype guy. Yeah, yeah. There's promoting, but then there's promoting with the Ali Act. And, and uh, you can be all the hype you want. There's a lot of guys that are hyped that went broke. 50 Cent was a big hype uh, uh, guy, guy too, but his promotional company tanked. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Jay-Z and Rock Nation, the promoter, big hype guy. Ray Jay-Z is big on hype, but the promotional company is not doing well. You know? So uh, you, got, you got to actually uh, know how to have the know-how and the mechanism to put it together. And you're not boxing. dealing with a cult. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it, what he formed in UFC is a cult. Yeah, whatever he says goes. Everybody just yeah. waits on his next breath. And well, Dana know. said this. So it's yeah, so uh, they did six and a half million. Dana said so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like he, he's like he's like the he's like Jesus. Every round sparring. <laughs> yeah, he was there. He saw it. Oh, but 